and hope we had a good weekend. It's a Monday and we give thanks to the Lord. Those of you that were following us last week, we are looking at understanding God's grace in affliction. And I pray that we'll continue to understand that there is grace in the affliction, that we, despite of the fact that we are fearing, despite of the fact that we are putting on masks and uh, moving around, yes, we are protecting ourselves. We don't want to catch the virus, but one thing we are aware of is that God is in control. And I want us to share in this verse um, of Isaiah 41, Isaiah 41 um, verses 10, he says, uh, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. You know, this is the promise that God is giving to the children of Israel. And it is our promise this morning, friends. Because as I said, and I continue to say that we are living in fear. Every time you see someone dying, you think I'm the next one. When you move out, you're living in fear. And every time you're sanitizing, and that is very okay. But what you need to do, yes, I'm protecting myself, but should I live in fear of death? Should I live in fear of situations? No. I need to be in Christ. And when I'm in Christ, Christ takes over my fear. And all my fear is lifted up to him. Fear not, I am with you. I have this confidence that the Lord is with me, is walking with me, he's going to uphold me, he's going to... And you know here he says, be not dismayed, for I am your God. You know, repeating it twice in the same verse that I am with you, I am your God. And you know God is who I am, who I am. That is what he told Moses. And he told Moses, when Moses was fearing, he said, no, tell them that I am who I am has sent me. Can you imagine? Tell them I am who I am. I am present. I am ever there. I am ever available. When you call on me, I am available. I will hear. And so he says, when you're weak, I will strengthen you. I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous hand. I will carry you. That is what promise that the Lord has for us this morning, friend. I do not know as you begin this day, as you walk towards work, as you face the challenges of family, as you face the challenges at the job, as you are thinking about maybe promotion, demotion, I want you to face the reality. You know, some of us, when fear grips, we stop doing the right thing. We begin making mistakes. But I want us to understand for sure that when fear grips and I am holding on to the Lord, I'm saying, you know, Lord, I'm still moving forward. Stop making mistakes. Stop panicking. But focus on the Lord. Fear not. I am with you. What a gracious statement. I will hold you and uphold you with my righteous hand. Father, thank you that we will not fear. We will not be crushed. No but we are in you. And I give you praise that your daughter, your son, will walk in that comfort today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you.